All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA, the series where I answer your questions. We've got a good bit of questions to get started with today, so let's get right into it with E.K. Starlord. And he says, do you plan on watching the new Marvel shows when they come to Disney Plus? Absolutely. I'm looking very uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be cool, especially the um, Falcon show. I think that's going to be really cool. But um, the WandaVision show sounds cool, too. I think there's going to be one where it's like, what if, and it was like, they're going to like reverse the roles of characters or make it like, what if this was the villain or something? That doesn't sound interesting to me, but all the other shows do. Um, so yeah, I'll be watching the Marvel shows when they come out. I'm actually kind of disappointed that the Falcon show never did come out this year because of, uh, the, you know why, but, um, so yeah. Very sad. Anyways, our next question comes from Ace Gamer Studios, and he says, What do you think of the new Star Wars Winter Wave 2021? So, a lot of people hate it. I don't really get why. I, I mean, the main reason why I know why is because there's no Clone Wars sets, so everyone's like, it's the worst wave ever. But it's like, that's just the first wave of the year. I guarantee you we'll get two waves next year. Maybe three, but... For sure, too. Um, and so maybe there'll be Clone Wars sets in that wave. Who knows? Um, but for some reason, people don't like it. Personally, I do like it. And I'm actually kind of excited because a lot of the sets are cheaper. Um, I saw a list the other day of most of the sets. And I added it up. And it was only $230. I'm sorry, $250 to get all of them. Um, I don't think that was counting some of the sets though, because it looked kind of puny. So it might be like $300 for the whole wave, but that's actually a lot cheaper than the last wave, which was like $700. Um, so, you know, I'm just, I'm like, oh, that would be pretty cool. Um, I'm, I, I like it. I'm, I mean, I would say, I'm going to go on a little bit of a tangent here. Um, I would say it would have been cool to get Clone Wars sets, but I don't really think it's that big of a deal um, to not get Clone Wars sets because we will be getting some, like, maybe later. I, sh I shouldn't say we will. Maybe we'll be getting some later in the year. Um, and, like, the Junior set, I'm like, I'm sorry for anyone that's complained about the Junior set. I don't really care about your opinion, if that makes sense. Um, for the junior set and the reason why I say that is because the junior set isn't for you it's supposed to be for children yes it's gonna look like a crappy build but that's because it's supposed to be easy for kids to build and enjoy and play with all that fun stuff and cheap for parents to buy you know it'd be like if you walked into a, a store bought baby food took it home and ate it and complained this is terrible well of course it's going to be terrible it's not made for you right i don't know um so the junior set i don't really think anyone should complain about that um but the rest of the wave i get why you can complain like there should be clone more sets and it does seem kind of dumb that it's only original trilogy but I'm looking forward to it, and at this point in time, I do not have an Imperial Shuttle Lego set, or nor have I ever had a Lego Imperial Shuttle, so I'm looking forward to getting one of those, and it's only like $80, so that's actually cheaper than like if it was 100 so I'm looking forward to that. So anyways, I'm going to move off of this question now for another question that's about this question. Do you plan on getting the whole wave, the whole Star Wars 2021 wave next year, or are you just going to save up for other sets um probably a little bit of both i mean i'm gonna i'm planning on getting them all especially like the micro fighters and the buildable helmet and apparently now there's going to be a mandalorian set so i take that one comment back where it's only original trilogy minus the junior set um so i don't really know what's going to happen um but we'll see. I'm gonna, I am gonna. plan on getting all the sets to do reviews, even though by the time I get most of them, all the bigger YouTubers will have already done much better reviews. But I still want to do them and have them. So um, I plan on getting them all, yes. Also, congratulations on 402 subs. I can see that right here. So nice job, man. Anyways, our next question comes from Darth Vader Studios, and he says, Is Baby Yoda depression cure? I mean... Anything that makes you happy is depression cure, right? I mean, that's just what I would say. So if it makes you happy, then then it, it'll help with depression, right? So hopefully none of you are actually depressed, though. Next question comes from E.K. Starlord, and he said, Did you hear about the rumors of the Force Unleashed 3 and early development? If so, 
What do you think? I thought the very first time I watched or watch read this, I thought it was going to be a joke. So you got me, I guess. Um, and to actually answer your question, I don't really have any thoughts. I don't really care. Truth be told, I've never played any of the Force Unleashed games. They're not canon anymore. So I actually, I'm not trying to be like mean when I say this, but I don't think the rumors are true. I think that that's BS personally um, because it's not canon. So unless it's going to be a new game, so like remaking the first one, but now as canon, but I just, I don't see that happening. I mean, if it does, okay, cool. I, I'll take it back, but I don't think that's actually real. So don't get your hopes up is what I'm going to say. Um, so, but if it does happen, I still don't care. Not really. All right. And our next question comes from deepest assault. And he says, sorry, if you already talked about this, but what did you think about the new Mando episode? All right, so this is going to get a little bit confusing because while well, watching this, it's kind of back in time. Um, but at the moment while I'm recording this, there's only two episodes of season two out. And that's chapter nine and ten or episode one and two of season two. Um, so I haven't seen episode three or chapter 11 yet. Um, so... To answer your question, though, I don't know which one you're talking about, but I liked them both. I thought they were very cool. Um, right now, the story's just kind of slowly starting to pick up more and more, so it's going to gradually get more and more interesting. But right now, it's just kind of like, kind of quiet, if you will. Um, and so, but I will say, I think that there's a lot of potential for some new LEGO Star Wars sets out of um, some of these episodes or at least out of these two episodes so it'd be really cool to see um like a mandalorian wave of sets um i don't know if that'll happen ever but so yeah but i'm very excited for episode um 11 and the, the rest of the series i think it's great and i've been enjoying it so far so anyways our next question comes from chicken from the oven and he says where did you get the name sky ren you see so when a mommy and a daddy love each other very much no i'm not going to do this joke again um, <laughs> i've done this before um so i wanted to make a username a long time ago this was even before like youtube um was even an idea of mine to try and do um I wanted a username that people could call me by, kind of like for Xbox, any games, YouTube, because I, you know, like, I don't know, um, be, like before I made YouTube videos. And so I was like, hey, you know what? Uh, I like the sky. And at the point, at this point in time, episode seven was um, coming out and then was out. And I was like, wow, I love Kylo Ren. He's such a cool character. I take that back now. <laughs> Um, and so I was like, well, I love the sky. I love Kylo Ren. Merge the two together and you get Sky Ren. So yeah, but I'm not the only Sky Ren apparently, but I'm the only me. So yeah, but other people stole my name, even though they stole it before I created it. Yeah, they stole it. Anyways, <laughs> our next question comes from Tree Man and he says, what is your favorite Minecraft version? Mine is the Xbox One edition because the music is great. Isn't the music the same on all the versions? I don't know. Um, but anyways, um, I love, I guess, even though I play the Bedrock edition, I guess my favorite version of Minecraft would be the Java edition just because that's the one with the most, I don't even know, like in terms of like the vanilla game, that's like the one with the most features and options, abilities, things like better graphics more mob count like um infinite worlds well bigger infinite worlds i guess i sh should say uh, less laggy the ability to be able to like delete chunks if you know how to do stuff like that uh resource packs like all that fun stuff like java edition is just way better but i play bedrock because i don't have a computer that can play minecraft so uh, yeah, well, I mean, maybe my Mac could, but I don't want to find out. So anyways, our very last question of the day comes from Burner Bills, and he says, what is your favorite food to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Um, so I don't really eat breakfast or lunch pretty much ever, maybe lunch occasionally, but I never eat breakfast. And so I don't really have an answer for breakfast this question honestly so i'm gonna kind of just change it to what are some of my favorite foods and i'm gonna say things like pizza chocolate finally 
I really love chicken nuggets and fries. I know I'm a child, right? Um, and I like drinks like coffee and Coke and like Coca-Cola, I guess I should be clear on that because YouTube might think I'm talking about something else. <laughs> um, and so, yeah. And of course, I like water. Drink water. Water's good for you. I'm going to drink some right now on camera just to prove it. <sighs> drink water. It's good for you. All right. So that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. So thank you all very much for watching. I thought I had to burp there. Sorry. Um, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And of course, while you're down there, comment a question or two for the next episode of ASA. Until next time, have a fun dabby dozy day. And I will catch you all next time. So close. So close.